you go to the calls here, you can pretty much guarantee somebody is going to want to bring up the supplements or their favorite supplement at InfoWarsStore.com. We don't ask for that. We don't have to. That's just how good the supplements are. The callers love calling in and talking about it. So uh, that's all at InfoWarsStore.com. Massive specials there. Everything we do is made possible with your support at InfoWarsStore.com. So let's go now to the phone lines where Todd has dialed in from North Carolina. Go ahead, Todd. Owen, can, Todd. Can, you, can you hook me up with a canister of Turbo Force? The, the, the packets on auto ship every two weeks is not enough. I mean, we need, you, you talk about food supplies or emergencies. I need an emergency canister of Turbo Force. I've actually, I'm not even kidding you. I floated this idea to the product guys. I said, hey, let's do a, just a, a, a canister of Turbo Force instead of the packets. Uh, but but the packets are what we're doing. But hey, maybe there's a canister in the future. Hey man, my, my son, he's powered by Turbo Force during his swim meets. He's going for the Y Nationals this year. If he makes the Y Nationals, I want an InfoWars uh, Turbo Force swim cap for him. And, and you all can uh, get promoted at the Y Nationals. Well, I'll tell you what, I don't know if I can put a swim cap out for you. <laughs> but uh, but uh, if he goes to Nationals, you get in touch with me. I'll send him a box of Turbo Force, and he can do. Uh, he can say how much he loves it before he goes and wins his national event. How about that? <laughs> that, that sounds like a plan. Hey, man, I, I got a solution for this whole Hong Kong crisis, and it involves uh, Kim Jong-un and the NBA. Okay. Kim Jong-un uh, loves the NBA. I know. I know. It's, this is a perfect setup. It's a perfect deal for him. And for us and for the people of Hong Kong, not, not to belittle that situation, but I think he owes Trump a solid for, you know, allowing Rodman to go over there so many times and being so friendly uh, with him and everything. Um, and I think Trump should allow him to resume the missile test towards the bridge between China, mainland China, and Hong Kong. Let's, let's, let's let Kim Jong-un take out the bridge. <laughs> So, so, so Trump calls up um, Kim Jong Un and says, "This is Kim. I got a bit of China. The Chinese military is moving in. They got this big bridge. They promised me they wouldn't use it with the military, but they're all there now. So, if you want to go ahead and test those missiles, you can knock out that bridge. We'll let you test. Okay? You test those missiles, knock out the bridge, and then the next thing you know, the bridge is blown up. That's it. He gets all that. The NBA expedition games he wants. Get around. Blow up that bridge over there. Yeah, that's the one." Yeah, I'm pointing at it right there. You see it? <laughs> All day long. And, and he, hey, but you know what, though? It's, it's funny because it, here's the thing with the NBA right now. I, it's just it, it's it's finally allowing people to see what's been going on in all of these different industries for years. The tech industry. I mean, all these different industries. Everybody already sold out to China a while ago. It's just shadow. It, you can't see it. The NBA is doing it right in front of everybody because it's a televised event. I mean, it is pop culture. It is entertainment. But think about it. it it's all the same thing. The basketball was invented in America. The NBA is an American entertainment product. It's all American. But somehow we have to suck up to China for them to get our product, for them to experience our entertainment that freedom has created. It's BS. Why is it our product, our brainchild, our sport, us, our tradition, our history, why is it we have to suck off China if they want to embrace what we made? It's total, it's ridiculous. It's, it's, it's all these cucks that just want that Chinese money. That's all it is. Yeah, let, let me tell you something encouraging, though, um, Owen. Um, I, I work uh, in the Chapel Hill area, the People's Republic of Chapel Hill, uh, quite often. Uh, so I, I appreciate uh, when uh, David Knight you know, mentions Chapel Hill because I've moved there all the time. But um, anyhow, I was at a Whole Foods in Chapel Hill, and they've got a big dining area. Now, um, there are a lot of Chinese Christians here in this area. They come here to study and everything. But they come here, and they, they find salvation. And there was about a dozen um, Chinese college girls, Christian college girls, that he took over the dining area in Whole Foods praying and doing a Bible study. And I mean, it, it just moved me so much. Um, and I, I had to go tell them how much they, they blessed me, but those people, um, they love freedom. And, and, and they, they have a lot.
God bless them and God bless America. And I hope that um, um, Americans who are slumbering um, awake to the fervor that are in these foreigners who come from time and, and not just situation. the ones that are slumbering, Todd. Thank you so much for the call. But but the the ones that refuse to take action, like I mean, look. I, James Harden is a basketball player, okay? I don't know how much I expect him to know about anything other than basketball. But when he gets up there and laughs as a former league MVP, like, yeah, we love China. Uh, China's the best. Dude, it's not funny. You look like an idiot to, to people in China and Hong Kong that are actually oppressed by this government. Like, that's not funny, dude.